Yo, it's going down. I'm in Harrisburg. That's the capital. Check it out. I'm up here with the Democratic Committee. Getting ready to do all this great stuff. Check out these churches that are right across the street from the Capitol. That's the Capitol. Look at this church. What's happening, Seth? <laughs> <laughs> Where's your house? I literally live right down that street about five blocks. She's exact. Where's your title again? You wrote? Executive it's director. Don't put that on. Oh camera. my gosh! She's the executive director of the Democratic Committee here in Harrisburg. And she just told me some great stuff about what's going to happen in 2020 and the whole redistricting thing. and when we got those judges in position because, you know, we got a million more Democrats registered, but we only have five state reps compared to Republicans that got 13. So once they do the redistricting after the census comes in in 2010, then they drew, redrew the lines and redo the maps. It's going to be more reflective of what's really out there. So we're going to get a lot more just state reps, a lot more positions, all because we got those uh, judges in there. Great. What, what office is this again? Oh, it's a notary. The notary. Oh. Wow. You gotta get all the forms notarized. They're outside. Hello. How are you? I said you have a hard job. What? That's why I just said you have a hard job. Yeah. That's the hardest part? No, no, no. I'm also a lawyer. Give him the Nick. Right. Hey, Nick. Come in here. All right. Oh, come in here. I'm going to check. Is this their main office? Yeah. This is, they're also landlord of the HSTC's office, so. Yeah. No? Is she, her, her stuff. affidavit statement is all in the only thing we're going to need is to memorize the official nomination. Okay. Um, but then he's coming. Well, I wouldn't know that. Y'all, it's cold as hell. And we're walking up to the uh, Capitol. We're taking another detour to go by the Pennsylvania Democrat. Come on, well, not today. Let's go. Wow. So, this is Harrisburg State Capitol. I guess this is the front door. I'm very interested in the, star, the artwork and the statues. I asked who was on top. The young lady on top, I'm gonna find out her name. If I know, she weighs two tons, they say. And they just did the renovations. I'm at 200 State Street, Harrisburg. That's what you're looking at. I was talking about the statue at the top. Capital was in like downtown Harrisburg. It's interesting. I wonder how many steps these are. You know, everybody knows how many steps they're in Third Kill Hall to get up those steps. I wonder how many steps it takes to get to the Capitol. It's the Keystone. This is actually it, huh? <laughs> Really? Huh? 
<laughs> you know I'm capturing it. Wow. Look at how our state gets down. Damn <laughs> that. Get that. Get that. Huh? Somebody wants to play. Huh? Hello, guys. Hi there. Hi. All right. Okay. Yo, I'm inside Harrisburg State Capitol. At the top it says Wise and it is and my God make the seed nation. I can't see it. It's all at the top, but look at the artwork. I'm right here, get right in the middle of the dome. Hello? It's got good acoustics. Wow. Wow. Look at that right there. Wow. It's a lot of religious overtones to this whole thing, I see. A lot of Greek. Wow. Look at that. Look at these staircases. You go up, spiral, on like your side. Yes. Oh, she did. That's great. Wow. Religion. Science. See that thing says science. That one says religion. I'm actually in the House of Representatives in Harrisburg. Check it out. I want you to sit up. Come on. Yo, I'm on the fourth floor. See, nations want a percentage. William Penn, there, May. It's all these little words up there. Can you see it? Like, uh, see right there, little words, like, in the dome. I wonder how many eagles are up in here. How many windows around there? They got these big paintings. And then they got these things like that. See right there? That says uh, religion under that picture. And in this picture, it says science. And then there's a picture over there and a picture over there. I don't know what's under there. But behind me, that's the doors to the house gallery. can't bring cameras in a session. And then when you go inside, it looks like this. <laughs> Is it tight? Look at that painting up there. See that picture? It's the school. It's the on tour. With the little chandelier. And you come right out into like the main gallery. The front door is down there. Let's go see what's over here. Hi, 
I'm just a person on the board. Uh, can you make that out there, little pilgrims? Uh, really not. <laughs> That plaque says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yep. Look at this painting. Yeah, wow. It's oil. Yeah. Hardwired in. That's how they take the votes. Push those buttons. On the set, huh? Are we up there? The governor? Leadership. Up there. Look at that painting. I wish I could get closer to that. Look at that painting. This is what we just sworn in. Really? Yeah. Liberty, justice. Okay, at the top of each one of these pictures, it says liberty, justice, natural gas, commerce, steam. Oh. Oh, abundance. So those little windows, see the little windows? They all have some titles to them. Dad, look at that look central painting. Wow. Look at the heaven from the state house, huh? Yeah, that's the heaven. I see the sun, I see the moon, I see water. I don't see fire, stars. Look at that lamp. We can get a bulb like that. That's interesting. They got a regular bulb inside of the little glass frame. They got some lights are out. Wow. Yeah. Yo, today was the day the snowstorm is going to hit Philly. This is that Friday. So I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We get 24 inches or 12 inches. But the day before, I was here. Wow, check this out. Hello, history. Earth on the Round Railroad. William Still, 1821 to 1902, abolitionist businessman. Arthur. William Penn, 1644 to 1718, bound to Pennsylvania. James, 1791 to only Pennsylvania elected to U.S. president. You hear that? Only Pennsylvania to make president was this guy. Here I come, here I come. Chief, corn planter, 1750 to 1836, influential leader of the people. These are the people that we took out. Asia Packer, Andrew Carnegie, industrial arts and philanthropist, Hershey Chocolates, Milton Hershey, 1857-1945, pioneer mass production of milk chocolate, Phil Murray, 1886-1952, founding president of the United Steel Workers, arf, arf. Steel, Steel Workers, huh? Because a bunch of kids again. <laughs> Innovation. Daddy's teacher. 
Controversies, Governor. Mark Delaney, 1882-1885, physician, publisher, army officer. Wow. Roberto Clemente, National Baseball of Fame. Pittsburgh. There we go. Josh Gibson, 1911-1947, National Baseball Hall of Fame from Philly. Alright, uh, it's safe for Philly, Pennsylvania. Jim Thorpe, you from Pennsylvania? Uh, those are the 12 steps on how an idea becomes a bill signed into law. Real fast, check it out. Look it up. Yeah. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. And I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. Remember that? They used to have things like that on television. They used to teach you something. A little commercials. I learned that when I was in my single digits. Remember how it starts off? But that was talking about it. Hey, this is for kids. Senator Perlman. And this is Representative Murray, a member of the Pennsylvania State House of Representatives. We are elected officials whose primary responsibility is making and amending laws that make Pennsylvania a better place. Representative Murray and I both serve on different committees that focus on specific fields <laughs> like education and transportation. We use these committees to raise support for bills we sponsor which, if voted favorably upon, may one day become a law. Senator Perlman and I were both voted into office from the districts we represent. It is our responsibility to listen to the people from our districts about problems or concerns that involve the state government. That's where I came up those steps. So the Capitol was first in Philadelphia, then they moved to Lancaster, then the Hills Capitol, Harrisburg. It takes strong leadership skills to keep a clean ship. 
So in 1820, 1812, it moved to Harrisburg. Dolphin County, I keep seeing it. 1822, they started construction on Hills Capitol, completed. 1897, February. Okay, in the middle of a snowstorm, 100 Harrisburg residents stood helpless as the Capitol burned out of control. Wow, hope that don't happen again. Snowstorm, huh? Uh, was important. Joseph uh, Miller Houston. Wow, look at that. Work with Crowley. All that arts. Oh, that arts. Pennsylvania State Capitol. Representative Kramer, teachers do not have enough time to cover the material they're required to teach. A longer school year will make younger generations more competitive against other countries. It will secure our future. There are other problems we should face before we think about making this thing school long. I do not want to see this bill become a law. And if you don't either, when it's time to pass your vote, vote no. Now, here's the vote. You've heard the debate. Both sides had a chance to express what they think and report on the research they put into their decision. Now it's up to you. Nay. No, yes. On a longer school year, we don't be in school. <laughs> 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 Y'all little babies need to be in school all year round. Yeah, they do. 